Hey everybody, it's Anne, and today we're going to look at a house on the market that I think is a tremendous house as an inspiration. It's a log home built between 1800 and 1810, and it's got 2,000 square feet, and then it has an addition put on it that's a 900 something square foot addition that's more modern. But this home is beautiful because it's, how do we say it? It's just simple. It's minimalist primitive. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between minimalist primitive and primitive style. There's so many different expressions of that. You know, with primitive, sometimes it's collecting and uh, showcasing your collections. With minimalist primitive, it's about all of your antiques being like an art piece. So it, it basically, when you walk into a room, the room is so stripped bare that you really notice all of the furniture pieces or all of the art pieces and they stand out. And a lot of deliberate care has been taken in selecting those pieces and deciding where they're gonna go. It's usually put at, on a kind of a neutral backdrop. And so um, in this particular house, everything is painted white. But what makes it work is that the woodwork on the home is uh, is all painted and it gives you that texture and that dimension. So it's not just like drywall all stuck together with white. Um, it's got the wood floors that have the patina and the rugged nature, the rustic nature of it. And there's wood ceilings in the home and there's a lot of details that that give it a lot of interest but they're not filling it with clutter and that's what i love about this home it's not filled with clutter so as i was looking at this home and i was thinking of what a great inspiration what it was i decided to go ahead and strip down a couple of my rooms as much as i could and see what i could do with that more minimalist look and i'm going to tell you right now i love it it gives me breathability space it it makes me feel less stressed um i feel like i can go there for respite it's kind of like when you go to a hotel and there's not a lot around um and you kind of hide your junk in the closet because you don't want to see the clutter that's how these few rooms in my home are feeling now and i love it so let's just take a look, a little bit of a closer look at a few of these pictures from the Realty site. And I'm going to put the link for the Realty site below so that you can look this up. And, and my goodness, if it's your dream house, go out and buy it because it is so cool. But um, I love the way they've used these portraits. They're gorgeous. The way these five portraits are hanging in a row against the one wall, they've got lights lighting that. And that is the art in that room. One wall with five old portraits. It's spectacular. Or look at this fireplace. On top of this fireplace, they have five, again, an odd number, five candlestick lantern kind of things. They're all old. They're all very unique. They've got the big one in the center, so they're going with kind of a, um, a symmetrical outlay. But on top of that fireplace, most of us would put like a big picture up there and then we'd put a whole bunch of tchotchkes on the mantle. But no, they just put those things on the mantle and they stand alone and it gives you breathing room. I love this home. I love this hallway. Look at how it's painted with the black trim and the gray and the white and that's it. And the hallway is an art piece in and of itself. There's nothing on the stairs. There's no pictures going up the side of the wall. It's just a plain staircase. When we moved into this home, everything was empty, right? And there was such a charm in the home because it was completely empty. And it didn't take me long, like a day or two, to just fill it to the brim with things and oh, I have to hang pictures and I have to put this here and I have to do this here. But some of these old homes stand alone with their perfect style. So there are a lot of things on Pinterest that you can look at um, with uh, the primitive, primitive minimalist style, and you can kind of tell the difference. If we look at this, this picture is definitely not primitive minimalist. Neither is this or this. 
But if we look at this picture, or this picture, or this picture, those are minimalist primitive. Again, there is nothing right or wrong about any style you choose. Some people will want to fill their home with stuff and that's great. They're maximalist people. Other people are balanced people who have some rooms with a lot and some rooms with nothing or they have just what they want around the house. Other people like things to be really minimal. And I think that if you're gonna do the minimal style, you really want to pay close attention to different design, uh, composition design elements like balance and scale and texture and other art elements that are going to help bring it into a beautiful room. Because this minimalist house has, has texture that really helps with all the white. It also gets balanced out because of the rustic wood, which also warms it up. They also know how to play to scale. For instance, with these pictures, they didn't take five little dinky portraits and put it on the wall. They took five portraits of the same size, probably 20 by 24, and put them next to each other on the wall. So together, they're one unit and it's scale. They used bigger items. And you'll see that throughout this house that they used bigger items to scale things down and balance things out. If you put a room full of tiny little items, you're gonna have clutter. If you put a room full of all big items, you're gonna have overwhelm because there's too many big items. What you have to do is balance the size of the items, some larger items, some smaller items. But remember that the more small items you put in a room, the more you're going to start to clutter the room up. And then you're not going to notice all the beautiful pieces of furniture you have. And I think that if we're collecting beautiful antique furniture, we should show it off. That should be an art piece. We shouldn't look like we are my barn. My barn right now is full of really cool furniture but it's all plunked in there and you can't see the forest through the trees. Uh, now in my house, in these few rooms, you can notice the furniture. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm really excited about it. So today, when you think about your home and you think about more of a minimalist approach to your home, think about this home and use it as your inspiration because it's truly wonderful. Now, why would we want a minimalist look to our home? I actually cover that in my podcast with Julie last Monday, check out Embracing the Simple Life. We talk about it a lot. In a nutshell, it's because you can breathe. It's because it takes away some of the stress in your life. It brings balance back into your life and you are able to just relax. That's why we go for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.